MIT is maybe unique in the extent to which its evolution was thoughtful and thought ahead of time. When you think of a university, you think of a much broader agenda. It's not just engineers, it's schools of science, humanities, social sciences. When Carl Compton arrived at MIT in 1930, the shift began. Compton was brought in to really boost the role of the sciences here and to make them co-equal partners with engineering. He began to bring to MIT first-class scientists. By the time Killian became president, you could begin to speak of the Institute as being a science-based university. And by 1970, let's say, all the sciences at MIT were world-class, and the humanities were on the way up. No technical knowledge can outweigh knowledge of the humanities, in the gaining of which philosophy and history walk hand in hand. When Winston Churchill actually came and gave a talk where basically he said, this institution should have a school of humanities. The School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences was started because the war had proved that the implications of science and engineering went far beyond the laboratory or even industry. We all are proficient at using the tools. We all go after challenging problems. And in doing so, we can forget the human-human the interaction. We can forget that it's not just about water purification, but it's about the individuals who are drinking the purified water once you develop the water purification system. It's interesting that as the students that we admit struggle to choose which college they want to attend, they're not looking really at other institutes of technology so much. They're looking at the other world-class universities. You don't have to sacrifice your interest in the humanities and the arts when you come to MIT. That in fact, you can have it all. You know, having programs like the humanities and social sciences enriches the educational experience. I think it puts them in a position to go out into the world and be literate about politics, about society, about cultural affairs. That's very important, and I think it's really a key dimension to undergraduate education at MIT.